Hi, welcome back to Box of Delights Game Channel. We're playing Memoir 44 and it's the turn of the Allies. Now I think it's time we mobilised uh, Major General de Montsabat's forces over here on the, um, the right hand flank. We've got a Ranger sitting there and a couple of tank units. We need to get them moving. So I have a command card I can use here. I've got a, um, an order two units on the right flank probe card. So that's the one we're going to go for. So let's see which units do we want to activate. Well, it's going to be a tank unit and our rangers. I think hills don't have any movement restrictions. I'm going to move my rangers through into these forests. They're not going to have line of sight on anything, so they're not going to be able to battle, even though they're their special forces. And then I'm going to bring my tank unit across to the middle here. Again, they're not going to have line of sight because of the woods and the hills surrounding them. So there's not going to be any battling from those units this turn. But it does mean things are looking a little bit different now uh, with some reserve forces coming in from the right flank. And then I'll draw a new command card. And it is Recon on the right. Let's see what the Axis player wants to do in response. Right, Axis player has chosen this Pride card. And it's to order two units on the right flank, so his right flank. And two units he's chosen to order are these two infantry units. And with these two infantry units he wants to have a crack at first my armour sitting here exposed in the centre. He doesn't want to move either of these units so we're going straight into the battle phase. So these two infantry will attack here first with three battle dice. We have one grenade and two retreats. So I have to remove one tank from the grenade. This is the thing, I kind of forgot that tanks, <laughs> tanks are pretty good from a distance because they've got good range. But I've moved them right in up close to these infantry where they're vulnerable to infantry attacks. And I have to retreat two and I've only got to one direction to go really and that's here and here. Okay, the next order is for this infantry unit here to attack this armour unit here. And again, it's close combat, so it's three dice and I'm unprotected. Let's see what it rolls. Right, this one's a miss. This is an infantry. And two retreats. So I'm going to have to retreat to spec two hexes. I have to retreat backwards, so we're back here. And once more, they've chosen not to take ground. Finally then, they have to draw a new command card. And we discard this one. I'm pretty keen to press this movement from the right flank to the centre. So I think this is where I'm going to focus my efforts this turn. Let's see what we can do. I have quite a few options with my command cards and this one here on the end is the one that's attracting me the most. Attack and order three units in the centre. And the Units I wish to order, my armour unit now has just moved into the centre, it's on the line which divides the right flank and the centre flank, the centre, so I'm going to order that unit there, and this unit next to them, this infantry unit, and lastly, this infantry unit here. 
So for my movement, I'm going to push all my units forward again. So this infantry, infantry unit is moving forward one. This infantry unit is going to move down off the hill. And my armour unit is going to move up onto the hill. And now we're going to start a mini battle in the centre here. I'm going to start with a close combat assault with my armour division on this infantry in the centre. So they're out in the open, it's going to be three dice. Let's see how we do. Whoa! You can't ask for much better than that. I was kind of hoping for a retreat so that I could move forward, but they're no, brave little devils, they held their ground. Okay, next. We're going to attack this lone infantry figure with this infantry unit here. So again, three guys. There we do. Okay, remember we do the hits first. So we have one hit. And we take this as a victory point. We've got two victory points now. Now I could take ground, but I'm not going to. Or am I? What if I if I do I've kind of blocked my tanks in again, you see? Um, but you know what, I think I will. I think I will take ground because I can work this infantry up through the middle here and then use my tanks to back me up. Finally, we've got one more command left and that's this infantry unit on these Germans who are dug in up on this hillside. So, right, range first, remember. Three dice. The hill is going to give me minus one dice. The sandbag doesn't add any dice reductions, remember, but they can ignore the first flag. Right, so it's two dice. We have one hit and one miss, so they're down to two. Okay, that's looking better again. One other point of interest, when uh, this, this little infantry unit I have here is looking vulnerable, particularly from this unit sitting up here on the hill, but since I advanced this infantry unit in here, I've blocked line of sight. So these two hexes now block line of sight, so this guy's looking a bit protected, and from this side, from this front and, and left, um, he's covered by forests. Lastly then, we draw a new command card, and that's looking pretty good for our right flank. Order three units. Right, let's see what our enemy's going to do now. The Axis player has chosen to play a Recon in Force. This card means he can order one unit in each section. Over on the right flank here it's this unit. On the left flank it's going to be the Artillery. And in the centre it's going to be these guys who are dug in here. None of these guys are going to move. They're all going to hold their positions and battle. So the first thing he wants to do is attack these guys here. And it's just going to be 
one dice. Remember, we check our range first. Three, two, one. Okay, and there's no terrain reductions or anything. Just one dice. We have one dice. And it's one hit. We lose one of our guys. Next, he wants to use this infantry and attack the same unit. So it's three dice, undefended, close combat. We have two hits and one miss. So this unit is now reduced to a lone figure. Okay, so these are attacked. And finally, he wants to use his artillery on my armour here. Now remember, for artillery, the range is 3-3 three, three for the first two hexes, 2-2-2-1-1. Two, 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 one, one. Okay, so 3-3, three, three, it's three dice, and then there's no damage reduction for protection or anything. So it's three dice on my two tanks. And he has one miss and two retreats. Now that's bad news because I can't retreat. These are the two tiles I can retreat to. So two flags, two retreats means two wounds. The Axis players claim their first medal. And now they can draw back up to four cards. Well, that certainly puts me in my place. And this gets discarded. Okay. Join me next time as we gather our thoughts and try to figure out what to do next.